Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone, for, for coming up to pray tonight. Yes, continually we say that gaze on Jesus and the peace of the Lord that surpasses human understanding will keep our hearts in perfect peace. The Spirit of the Lord will keep our hearts in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you. How wondrous are your works. Your word is the light to our paths. We give you praise tonight. On the Brahi Selemon de Bahasegita Fandisha. Oh Kasayata. Peron tabi salida hashteva sangeti da hata manta sataya. Konsa saute pahatesa. We give you praise. We worship you. We lift up our hands and we say thank you. We lift up our voices. We say thank you. Thank you. Let your praise be found in our mouths. Let your praise be found in our lips. Let your praise fill our hearts. We thank you. We worship you tonight. We worship you tonight. We worship you tonight. Lord, tonight you will comfort your people. You comfort your people by your word and by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. You comfort your people by your word and by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. God bless everyone. Tonight, we'll lift up our voices to God. Once again. We will not get tired of praying. We will consistently knock. On the doors of heaven. It is asked you receive. Seek you will find. Knock and the doors shall. Shall be open. Not may. Not might. Knock. And for everyone who asks. Receives. That means. The result for asking. Is receiving. When we knock the doors are open. This is the promise of the father. And tonight in the name of Jesus, ask you, ask you will receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you ask tonight, you will receive. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And tonight I want to talk about God healing the broken hearted. Healing to the broken hearted. For Jesus was anointed to heal the broken hearted. To heal those that are depressed. That are pained. That feel frustrated. That are stranded. Not just stranded physically, but stranded in their minds. It is one thing to be stranded physically. It is another thing to be stranded in the mind. And anyone that is stranded in his or her mind will eventually become stranded physically. Because out of the heart, the mouth will speak. And from what the man says, the life becomes. No wonder the book of Proverbs says, guard your acts with all diligence. Because out of it proceeds the issues of life. For everyone that is heartbroken tonight, Everyone that is depressed tonight, frustrated. I don't know what happened to you. But the one who heals the heartbroken is here tonight. Is here tonight. And let that depression go in the name of Jesus. Let God heal your heart. Let God heal your home. God heal your business restore all that you have lost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus hallelujah God is concerned about how you feel God has feelings yes God is concerned about how you feel and Psalm 55 verse 23 says it says cast your body upon the Lord cast your body upon the Lord for he will sustain you he will not allow his righteous one to be moved tonight God will sustain you God will sustain you sometimes you want to pray and you don't even have words to say so heartbroken depressed you just look up to Jesus and say Lord help me Lord help me tonight God will sustain you God will comfort you Jesus says I send you a comforter Tata Shale Saya the comforter tonight will come to you in the name of Jesus he says cast your body cast your body there is someone that is willing to carry your burdens cast your body upon the Lord not upon your neighbor not upon your pastor I might not be willing to carry your burdens many times you tell someone your stories and they tell you oh sorry sorry they are not willing to take part of it it's because man will always be man but there's someone that wants to carry your body Psalm 55 verse 23 says he says cast your body upon the Lord he will carry and sustain you he will not allow his righteous one to be moved tonight we will lift our voices and say Lord we cast our bodies on you you that is ever sure we cast our bodies on you we cast our bodies on you Heal the broken out here tonight, Lord. Let your healing come. Let your healing power come. Let your healing virtue come. This is you praying tonight. Lift your voices, say, Lord, let your healing virtue come. Heal our hearts, O God. We cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. Sada da bahatash ta hala bahatan na nina mahanda kiste ki pataya sevre hi son se dise. We cast our bodies on you. We receive the help of the Comforter. We receive the help of the Comforter. We receive the help of the Comforter. E sadeta rekete shadata la bahasata. We cast the losses on you. We cast the pain on you. We cast the thoughts on you. This sorrow that we feel, we cast it on you. We cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. For you will sustain your children. You will sustain your people. We cast our bodies on you. Lift up your voices tonight. Lord, we cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. We put our confidence in you. We put our trust in you. In the name of Jesus. In our weakness, we are made strong. In our sickness, we are made well. In the name of Jesus, we cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. We cast our bodies on you. Radena bahatash ta habalika sada. Regedena sombra hidake teke shandeke bahasata. Anto kotosha. Reketi zaka patayata, ele bahata zika tashata, rekoto sodota, rekete na zika hatash tahi bahasata, mantu sate, mantu sate, mantu sate, mantu sate. We cast our bodies on you. In the name of Jesus, we cast our bodies on you. 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 La koshata la bahasata. Regedina sevihida kapata sata. Anta sayata. Sometimes you don't need to share your problems with men. 
many times men I might not be able to help you. There's a saying that says a problem shared is a problem solved. That's not true. It's only a problem that is shared to the right person. a problem shared is a problem solved that's not true when you share your problems with the wrong persons it becomes worse a problem shared is a problem advertised it says who is he that puts his trust in the ham of flesh who is he that puts his trust in the ham of flesh Joseph interpreted the dream for the butler. The butler became reinstated. The Bible says, and he remembered Joseph not. He remembered Joseph not. Men don't have the complete capacity to carry the burdens of others. Except those that have been endured with power from on high. Except those that have been called to do so. It says, cast your body upon the Lord. Upon the Lord. Human beings that have not finished referring you. People see something that can be beneficial to you. And they don't share it. Is it the same man that you will not tell the problem and he will take it upon his shoulders? The only one that takes burden upon their shoulders and personalizes it is Jesus. Because he died for you. Tonight, God will heal your broken heart. God will restore all that you have lost. God will put a smile on your face. And in the name of Jesus, he would take away the pain. He would take away the shame. He would take away the sorrow. By his mercy, by his love, by his grace tonight. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, forget about everything. We we'll just set our gaze on Jesus. And say, Jesus, we trust you. It might look over, but we trust you. He says, there's light at the end of the tunnel. But I've been moving in this tunnel for a while now. For a long time now. Where is the end? Where is the end? When will this pain come to an end? When will this challenge come to an end? When will this agony come to an end? When will I stop suffering? How long will my heart be broken? How long will I be disappointed? Jesus says, the word of God says, cast your body upon the Lord. He will sustain you. What you need to get to the end of the tunnel is sustainability, is strength. The word says he will sustain you. He would not allow his righteous one to see shame. Tonight, Lord, we cast our burdens on you. We cast our burdens on you. You alone can. Only you can. For we know you care. We know you care. We cast our burdens on you. We cast our burdens on you. Pour your hearts to God. Pour your heart to the one that is willing to hear. Pour your heart to the one that when you speak, he responds. He says, Ask it shall be given. Seek you will find me. Knock, I would open the door. By 12 midnight, knock, I will open. 1 a.m., knock, I will open. 3 a.m., knock, I will open. 
when it's dark and no one is there knock Jesus says I will open cast your body on the Lord he will sustain you he will sustain you Sebrehida Sanda Shadata Sata Eketena Sateta Shadata Shata Kata Sata Ladahata Shata David said, My enemies, they are too many for me. The challenges are too many for me. This problem is bigger than I can handle. It has become a weight on me, it has become a burden on me. Jesus says, Cast it on me. Cast it on me. Cast it on me. I will sustain you. Cast it on me. Cast your body on the Lord. But as this word proceeds tonight, talk to God. Talk to God. Don't just sit down and listen. And No, talk to God. As these words go into your spirit, talk to God. Heaven is open to here tonight. Talk to God. Pour your hearts to God. Pour your heart to God. Sometimes the pain is so intense that you just need someone to talk to. You just need someone to cry on. To cry to. Not because they can actually help you. But your heart is too full. You just need to complain. You just need to tell them, I've been suffering from this thing. It's shameful. But I've been suffering from it. You just need someone to pour your heart to. But the problem is, the person you are pouring your heart to, would that not be the advertiser of this problem? But the problem is, do I trust this person I'm going to cry to? Do I trust this person I'll pour my heart to? You just want to pour your heart. You just want to speak. You just want to speak. Tonight, you will not speak to a man. You will not cry and pour your heart to a man. You will cast your burden on the Lord. You will pour your heart to God. You will bow your knees and say, Jesus, can you hear me? Jesus, are you there? Jesus, can you hear me? Jesus, I feel pain. I feel depressed, Lord. Please, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? The reports are troubling me. Help my unbelief. Can you help me? And you pour your hearts to God. Pour your hearts to the one that cares. He says, learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. He says, you will find rest to your soul. The man of Galilee gave rest to those that followed him. He says, you will find rest to your soul. You will find rest. So, heaven wants to embrace you. Jesus wants to hug you. He says, I feel your pain. I feel your pain for your sake I died. What a passionate Jesus. And the woman who lost her child. The Bible says, and they carried the child. And Jesus saw her and had compassion on her. My compassionate Jesus wants to help you. He says, cast your body on me. Cast your body on me. Cast your body on me. Cast your body on the Lord. Talk to God tonight. Tell him your problems. Tell him your problems. The one who healed the broken hearts. Tell him tell him your problems you see many years ago I was stranded I was stranded I remember in 2008 while in University of Benin I would go to the hostel to preach and I will preach to you about 9 p.m. encourage people but the encourage I was stranded. The hostel called Ofo. And I'll trek from Ofo to BDP. Sometimes 11 p.m. And I'll walk to my room. A very little room. As a matter of fact, it was a kitchen that I rented and turned to a room. Because that was what I could afford. And many nights, 
no food to eat i remember one of the nights because i bought sugar sometimes when there's no food and maybe i just need to stay the, the next morning trusting god for something to come i'll take the sugar and mix it with water drink it see i was doing that many nights and i'll be energized and one night i came there was sugar but there was no water even rain water i did not have because i did not have a drum to even store them life was messy life was messy and i walk out of the house fresh from the drum of my neighbor rain water put sugar drink it and many of those nights i would lift up my voice and say lord help me lord help me and it was so intense because i lost all that i had because i chose to preach this gospel friends turn their backs in one night by 3 a.m I was in a dream and in the dream I was stranded and I was crying in that dream and I woke up crying with my pillow soaked crying and I bowed my knees to pray and all that could come out from my mouth was weeping there was nothing to say what have I not said? Edena Sadia, help me. Help me now. This was my cry. The Bible says, and Hannah cried and prayed. And then I thought she was drunk. The kind of cry that everyone thinks this one is drunk. And I bowed my knees on that chair and I wept. And I cried, and I cried, and I cried, and I cried, and I slept off on my knees. In the next morning, I felt a strange kind of peace, a strange kind of confidence. And my younger sister went somewhere after two weeks. Someone who worked in an OFM asked her, ah, there's a slot. Do you have someone that wants to work? He said, ah, my elder brother, he needs a job. As easy as anything I was caught up. Less than a month, I got a job. Cast your burden upon the Lord. For he cares. He cares. He cares. He cares. There was a Christmas. I am my friend. His name is Mr. Ken. It was Guava, Guava, Guava. And this Guava was not even so ripe. That was all that was available for Christmas. Because we were in the student environment. He did not have a house to go to. Me, I had left my father's house on account of the gospel. Guava. We ate it and... You know, you know when you are with a friend and... You are not talking to yourself. You are not quarreling, but you are not talking. <laughs> there is no need to talk. <laughs> Let's just eat this one and let night come. how to help his children the stories can sound sad but will not remain so every story changes in the hand of the most high let God sustain you 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say Lord I cast my burden on you 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 esta felata pisa kapata renata satita fatela mansa beta gronsa so gronsa so gronsa so he says i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears from all your fears god will deliver you tonight they look to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed this poor man cried out and the lord heard him god we hear you tonight and the lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles the angel of the lord encamp all the angel of the lord encamp all around those who fear him and delivers them oh taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the man who trusts in him oh fear the lord all oh, you his saints there is no want to those who fear him the young lion lacks and suffer hunger as powerful as the lion the young lion he lacks and still suffers hunger but those who seek the lord shall not lack any This is the word of the Lord. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. As you seek God tonight, as you cast your body upon the Lord, in the name of Jesus, from tonight you would not lack any good thing. From tonight he will sustain you. He will empower you. In the name of Jesus. Verse 11 says, Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life? Who is the man who desires life? David says, Come, let me teach you the word of the Lord. Let me teach you the secrets that I have worked with all my life. And loves many days. Who is the one that wants to live long? That he may see good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. And do good. These are the criteria for those that God will sustain. Listen. Seek peace and pursue it. Verse 15 says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord are on his children. The eyes of God are upon you. The eyes of God are on you. In the name of Jesus. The eyes of God are on you. In the name of Jesus. Say I'm the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Therefore the eyes of God are on me. In the name of Jesus. To help me. To give me that which is good. To help me. To deliver me. To sustain me. In the name of Jesus. And his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. To cut them off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. The Lord hears. The Lord hears. Those nights that you cried, God heard. The testimony is on its way. God heard. Tonight God is hearing you. God is hearing you. By faith we believe that when we pray, He hears. God is hearing you. This is the confidence that we have. That when we lift our voices up, He hears us. God is hearing you tonight. God is hearing you tonight. Your prayers are not in vain. He says, when the righteous cry, the Lord hears. And He delivers them out of trouble. This is the big part. This is the big part. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. 
Someone broke your heart. Someone caused you pain. Someone stole your money and disappeared. Someone promised you marriage and few weeks to the wedding. He's no more. She's no more. Now you are heartbroken. He says, the Lord is near to the broken hearted. The Lord comes close to those that are heartbroken. Because God understands that it is a serious affair. God is near to the depressed. You wrote an exam and you failed. God is near to the depressed, to the heartbroken. And he says, and he saves those that are crushed in spirit. And he saves those that are crushed in spirit. Verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Afflictions is not always because one has sinned. That somebody is going through a shaking does not mean he has departed from God. That a woman cannot have her children now does not mean that she's living in sin. Does not mean that she has done anything wrong. And they asked Jesus, who sinned? Is it this man? Is Jesus said, no. This one is, is that the name of God be glorified. That someone is suffering does not mean he's living in sin. David says the righteous can be afflicted. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him from them all. Delivers him from them all. Delivers him from them all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your deliverance come tonight. Your deliverance come tonight. God will heal your broken heart. God will heal your broken heart. In the name of Jesus. Kito sasade manto kapata manto kapata manto kapata manto kapata rikapata lakata saba kete sedi kebehete ya santa shatena. Thank you, Jesus. Your deliverance is sure. Your deliverance is sure. God is close to you and would save you. He would sustain you. He would not allow his righteous one to be moved. God bless you. Thank you for joining us to pray. Thank you for believing in the grace of God upon my life. And thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for your seeds. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. And it's my prayer that God will continually strengthen every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Since when they shall say there's a casting down, we will say there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, you would say, your testimonies would be that there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. Hallelujah. The details for, in case you want to make an inquiry, be on the screen. You want our counselors to pray for you or you want me to pray with you, be on the screen. Endeavor to use them. Endeavor to use them. May God make all grace abound towards you. In the name of Jesus. I'll see you 9 p.m. tomorrow. God bless you.